Hello dear students of uh, second prep science. Let's go to start our episode today as we have to talk about the graduation of the elements properties in the model periodic table. And we have the second part of this lesson as we have to talk about the chemical reactions of elements uh, of metals and non-metals elements with oxygen or with hydrochloric acid. And we have to know the results in each uh, chemical reaction. Let's go start with the first part in our lesson today as we have to talk about the chemical properties of the metal during the chemical reactions. As we uh, have chemical uh, properties of metals as we have the chemical reaction of metals with number one diluted acids and number two we have with oxygen and number three we have with water. So here we have number one we have to uh, deal with the reaction of what of metals as we have here with diluted acids and number two we have to deal with the reaction of metals with oxygen and number three we have to know the reaction of metals with water so we have to uh, study number one reaction of metals with diluted acid number one we have here as we see we have number one here we have magnesium okay Number two, we have hydrochloric acid. Okay, so they will produce what? As we have here, زي ما احنا هنشوف هنا, magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas. So magnesium is more active than what? Than uh, uh, hydrogen in the chemical activity series, and we will study it uh, after a while. So magnesium replaces hydrogen, دخل مكانه, and we have hydrogen gas here evolve. So we have magnesium chloride from the products of this reaction, magnesium chloride, and what here we have hydrogen gas evolves. And then كده hydrogen أو hydrogen gas evolve as effervescence. Effervescence. So effervescence here, which means فوران. Uh, so if we have to uh, write, give reason for, زي ما احنا هنشوف دلوقتي مع بعض, give reason for appearance of effervescence. On adding magnesium with hydrochloric acid how can we answer this question as a give reason for زي ما احنا شايفين قدامنا هقول له the answer we can answer by chemical equation ممكن نجاوب ال give reason or what happens ممكن يقول لي what happens when you add magnesium to hydrochloric acid so we will answer by using the chemical equation but not only the chemical equation we should write below the uh, chemical formula the what here as you see magnesium we write magnesium hydrochloric acid as hydrochloric acid here magnesium chloride here magnesium chloride and here we write hydrogen as effervescence or fouron so we deal with the first part as we have the reaction between magnesium or metal with hydrochloric acid and here we have to write the reaction between metal with what? With oxygen as we have, as we studied before in first prep. Magnesium with what? With oxygen. طبعاً by heating or burning. Here we have a triangle which means burning. Magnesium will combine with oxygen as the atmospheric oxygen producing what? Producing yes magnesium oxide magnesium oxide so we have here magnesium with oxygen producing magnesium oxide magnesium oxide we can uh, uh, talk about this uh, uh, compound as magnesium oxide is called what زي ما احنا هنشوف دلوقتي مع بعض uh, على المونيتور magnesium oxide is what is alkali solution or 
بيزك اوكسيد يعني هنا هكتبها مع بعض مغنيزيوم اوكسيد از وات از بيزك اوكسيد از وات نكتبها تاني بيزك اوكسيد اوكي بيزك اوكسيد واي بقى جيف ريزن فور هنقولها هنا واي مغنيزيوم اوكسيد اور ميتال اوكسيد از بيزك اوكسيد هقول له بيكوز اتس سوليوشن اتس وات اتس سوليوشن تشينج لتمس بيبر انتو وات انتو يس يعني الكلي سوليوشن از بيزك اوكسيد سوليوشن يعني وذ ووتر اوكي turns litmus paper into blue as you studied before in first prep okay next one is the reaction of uh, uh, of metal with water as we have here magnesium oxide with what with water here we have Uh, the reaction of water or reaction of metals with, with water it depends on the position of metals in the chemical activity series we have here chemical activity series what is meant by chemical activity series كلمة series معناها متسلسلة و chemical activity which means نشاط كيميائي so what is meant by chemical activity series معناها ايه اقول له arrange of metals of what of metals in descending order order according to their chemical activity or activities so we arrange metals again we arrange what metals in what in descending order يعني from the most active to the least active metal what according to what their chemical activity so we talk about what here we talk about the chemical activity says so each metal has uh, its uh, uh, reaction with water as we have here for example number one potassium and sodium react instantly with water يعني لحظيا with water as we studied before in first prep again خدناها قبل كده in first prep we have sodium react with water fastly producing hydrogen gas that burn with pop sound As we have here, for example, sodium in A, نكتبها مع بعض اهو, sodium in A plus H2O, we know hydrogen is more active than, uh, 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 sorry, uh, sodium is more active than hydrogen, so sodium replace hydrogen, producing what? Producing here, sodium hydroxide. plus hydrogen gas evolves so hydrogen gas burn with what with pop sound before so we keep sodium and potassium تمام not uh, in open air or under kerosene why or paraffin because sodium and Uh, potassium react instantly with water next one is what next one is as you see we have cal uh, calcium and we have magnesium both react what react with cold water they can react with cold water and here we have what we have zinc and iron they react with hot water or water vapor لو بخار الميه as iron react with water forming iron rust لو صدى الحديد مثلا and the last point here copper and 
سيلفر اللي هو النحاس والفضة don't react with water so they are inactive metals so we have an, uh, زي ما احنا شايفين uh, a range of metals in what? in descending order يعني from the most active to the least one من الأكبر للأصغر in descending order according to their hmm, chemical activity according to their chemical activity يبقى احنا خدنا مع بعض the chemical activity series and we know a range of metals in descending order according to their chemical activity and we know now the table uh, illustrate the chemical activity series next one here we have the reaction of non-metals with oxygen the first equation is what? first equation is the reaction of metals with non-metals with oxygen as we have here carbon الفحم. carbon with what? with oxygen carbon which means uh, coal الفحم. with oxygen producing what? producing carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is non-metal oxide خلي بالنا بس هايز ارجع لورا تاني كده هو hmm? we have here magnesium oxide is basic oxide okay but here we have carbon dioxide is an acidic oxide okay uh, dear students let's go to take just later break and then we will return back again Welcome back, dear students. Let's go to complete our episode today as we have to differentiate between metal and non-metal oxide. Metal oxide is called basic oxide or alkali oxide as we have the uh, uh, acidic oxide as non-metal oxide. We have to differentiate between them. Metal oxide solution, change litmus paper into blue and uh, acidic oxide or non-metal solution, change litmus paper into red. So we have to differentiate according to the solution of oxide, metal oxide and non-metal oxide. We have here, as, as you see, the uh, last point in our episode today. We have carbon with oxygen producing carbon dioxide, as you see here. Carbon dioxide as acidic oxide and uh, turn litmus or turn litmus paper into red into what red because carbon dioxide is non-metal oxide or what or acidic oxide or what acidic oxide if a non-metal oxide is an acidic oxide okay write the scientific term as we have questions write the scientific term Number one, they are the elements which have the properties of both metals and non-metals. Both metals and non-metals. As we have in the model periodic table, these metals are called metalloids. Metalloids has the properties of both what metals and non-metals at the same time. Like, for example, silicon. Next question is, it is the measuring unit of the atomic size of the element. What? Again, it is the measuring unit of the atomic size of the element. We have here picometer. Okay. Next question is scientific term. It is the ability, what? It is the ability of, here, the atom to attract, what? Shed electrons of the bond toward itself. It is the ability of the atom to attract the electron toward itself. It is called what? Yes, electronegativity. Electronegativity. Okay. Number four, covalent compound in which the difference in the electronegativity between element or elements is what is high. We talk about a compound like water. This compound is called what is called polar compound. So we have polar compound. The difference in electronegativity between elements is what is high. 
and we have non polar compounds the difference in electronegativity between elements is what is low so we can differentiate now between polar and the nonpolar compound according to the difference in electronegativity between elements okay dear students this point is the last part in our episode today we have uh, finished now uh, lesson two uh, as we have to talk about the graduation of the elements properties in the mode predictable after this episode we have just little break and we will complete with a new episode of third prep science first term as we have to complete lesson two as acceleration thank you see you good